building a new hyperspectral radiometer to be used for uh, calibration and validation of the next NASA ocean color satellite. Uh, we developed a concept where, we're, where we put a radiometer on a profiling float, a Navis, uh, like an Argo float, and so by getting a drifting platform for our radiometer, we should be able to get many uh, matchups with the satellite so that uh, we'll increase the, um, how fast we can do a good calibration of that satellite. Now there, in the past we've used fixed mooring um, located radiometers to do uh, CalVal and, um, and the limitations of that are that uh, it is one place, one location, so you lack spatial uh, diversity. Um, but so by having radiometers on the profiling floats that drift through the ocean, um, we should be able to get more diverse uh, locales for satellite matchups. This particular radiometer is an improvement on our existing hyperspectral radiometer uh, in that it has a much higher spectral resolution. So our current hyperspectral radiometer has a spectral resolution of 10 nanometers. We have actual channel spacing of a little over 3 nanometers. With this sensor we're going to get 3 nanometer resolution with uh, channel spacing under 1 nanometer. Um, in addition to the spectral resolution we, we are going to have a much more sensitive instrument and, uh, and it'll be combined with um, a very high resolution pressure sensor so that we get very good uh, spatial resolution in the vertical in a vertical profile of, uh, of ocean color measurements. Remote sensing is really the key to understanding the oceans. We can only do so much sampling in situ um, with instruments like like our radiometers. So the key uh, to that remote sensing is to get the best quality data from the satellite-borne sensor that, that you can. And, um, and vicarious calibration and validation of that measurement is really the key to doing remote um, measurements of ocean color. A couple keys with this project are, one, uh, an improved uh, spectral resolution over previous sensors. Um, our HyperOCR, which has been a workhorse in the industry for many, many years, has a, a spectral bandwidth of about 10 nanometers, and the new system uh, will improve on that by about three to four times. So you see a lot more structure in the, in the solar spectrum, uh, and there's potentially brand new science that people might be able to achieve uh, with, with the uh, improved information, spectral information that you can get. Uh, another a uh, key part of the project is reducing uncertainty. Um, reducing uncertainty means that you can do a, a, a better matchup with the satellite data and, and reduce the overall uncertainty in, in the measurements that the satellite makes. Um, and we're going to great lengths to reduce uncertainty uh, wherever possible uh, in uh, all, at all stages of the sensor, um, from hardware design and optical calibration and so on. Uh, for instance, one of the, one of the um, important changes we made is using a very uh, highly accurate pressure sensor to be able to improve the extrapolations to surface radiance. Um, if you know your, your, the depth of your measurements more accurately, then you know how far you have to extrapolate uh, more accurately as well. Um, and we have uh, some other ancillary sensors which will help, um, including uh, an MCOMS fluorometer. And we have uh, also um, multiple uh, tilt sensors in order to be able to get uh, really accurate um, information regarding the orientation of the sensor and the radiometer heads. And we've taken a lot of effort uh, into reducing self-shading on the instrument 
of putting the radiometer heads uh, way out on arms, and we have two radiometer heads, so that there will always be one uh, facing the sun to reduce uh, self-shading from the uh, instrument uh, body. And all these things combined uh, will help reduce uncertainty and, and improve the accuracy of the overall radiance measurements. Doing ocean color measurements is really how we started at Atlantic. And so as part of the Seabird Scientific Team, this is really part of our heritage. And uh, being able to combine this radiometer on uh, an excellent um, profiling float uh, that gives us the best uh, quality temperature, depth, and uh, salinity data, um, it really it really is kind of a quantum leap of, our, of where we are in uh, doing ocean color measurements.